my loves, how are you? I wanted to share something that I wrote two days. Um, I was feeling inspired and I was talking to two friends last night. We were talking about how we're in our 40s now and we were talking that there's women in their 20s that are dating men that aren't good for them but they're not paying attention to the red flags and I personally think a lot of it has to do with a woman's self-worth and if she believes he's worthy of God's best or not um, and I say that because I went through that for many years and so I used to think I wasn't good enough or pretty enough or whatever enough and when someone came along I was like oh okay well this person says they love me even if it's not the best person for me and sometimes some attention was better than no attention and I know there's a lot of women that have felt the same way so I wrote this because of that and I just wanted to share it because it, it generally came from my heart but honestly it breaks my heart when I hear a woman that doesn't know her worth um, and you know me as a makeup person like I generally just love makeup but for me it's therapeutic and today is a no makeup day but I wanted to share what I wrote. As I'm doing homework. It's called You Are Enough to the woman that looks in the mirror and doesn't believe she is worthy of God's best. Let me remind you that you are beautiful. That you are loved. That your worth doesn't come from a man. It comes from God. Please do not rely on a man to fix your broken pieces. Only God can fix them. Please do not allow a man to break the most vulnerable parts of your heart because of his insecurities, manipulation tactics, or control issues. God did not create you to be diminished in any way, shape, or form. He created you in his image with a heart so capable of love and with a strength like a lioness. Never dim your light to feed the ego of a man who does not deserve you. You are worth more than that. And it's not your job to chase him and try to convince him of the amazing woman that you are. It's your job to believe that you are amazing and to continue working on the parts that need healing. There is no shame in therapy and there is no shame in allowing God to heal you. All my best, all my love, no case. Unfiltered, by the way. <laughs> so to whoever is watching this, my lady friends, um, if this resonates with you in any way, drop a comment down below. If you have a friend that you think would um, benefit from hearing this, please share this with her. And um, this was Therapeutic Writing Sessions with Bulkies. Bye!